Hello viewers, it's Super GT here. So I'm back on GT Sport. Now you see here I'm on I'm on driver level C and sportsmanship rating C. I've had plenty of comments in previous videos that you know to have proper clean racing you really do need to move up to the to the higher levels on both of those before you before you actually experience people who know what the hell they're doing or you know won't won't kill you. Into turn one, we are gonna have contact from behind, but it wasn't too bad. We're going to keep first place. And actually, that guy kind of said something on Twitter like, sorry for hitting you. So, you know, it wasn't actually that bad. I, I barely even noticed it, if, if I'm honest. Now, the guy you want to kind of take notes of, if you see there on the left-hand side, the guy in fifth place, the Italian, or back into back into third place now, the, the Italian there, because he's going to be a, a prominent feature of this video, actually. Not of this race, because this race kind of went according to script, really. Um, it's always good to qualify on pole, obviously, I mean obviously, but uh, not just to win the race, but to build your your SR uh, sportsmanship rating. You see, w when you're out the front, you're not going to make contact with anyone, so it's actually quite easy just to build that rating. Coming down into the hairpin, on the brakes nicely, a little bit deep, but then you can kind of, kind of come back for that late apex. And this car really is very responsive on the throttle, it does want to spin, so it's actually probably better to take that kind of line. At the end, fastest lap 209.4 and winning by over 10 seconds, so quite a commanding victory. But it's going to be a little bit different in this one. So we've got the Italian there in second place. We kind of matched up with him quite a lot of races in a row. Changed the livery on the car. Still on pole position. And uh, well, let's see how this one goes basically. Because coming to the first corner, you can see I think that gap is too big for him to go for a move. I take the normal racing line, I actually break a bit later than I normally would, and then he's just there, and wow, I mean to be fair it was quite a good lunge, so I kind of just um, just backed out of it, but it did require co uh, cooperation, I mean I could have easily just turned in on that, but he's up into the lead, so okay, we aren't going to have an easy race like we did in the first race, it's going to be a little bit harder, we have to work for this one. Um, you can definitely extend on the exit of turn 4 though, the game does not penalise you, penalise you for that at all. Coming into the uh, next chicane, going in late on the brakes, we're going to move over to the left hand side here, taking a very nice entry. You don't normally do that in, like Formula 1 cars don't actually normally do that, go over to the left on that, on that corner, but it can help you with throttle. As, as I mentioned, this car is very, very sensitive on the throttle, as soon as you get on it, it just wants to spin, so you have to be really, really careful. Kind of half throttle until you're really, sh really, really sure, and then really put it down on the exit once you're in a straight line. So looking behind there on the exit, as we come into the Schumacher curve, you can see that the gap was opening up behind. So pulling away from third place, it looks like it's going to come down to a two-way duel between myself and the feisty Italian for the win at the Nürburgring Grand Prix circuit in the Porsche Cayman. Taking a very late uh, run through there, actually missing the apex by quite a way. Uh, maybe about four miles, I don't know. Maybe less, I'm not sure. Didn't measure it. But as we come then up towards the chicane, this is going to be the talking point, really. The chicane, it often is. It's quite a contentious place. I mean, you can do that. I mean, the track limits through there are pretty much keep two wheels on the red and white curb and you're okay. If you don't, then you won't be. So through the final corner, very close behind. I think I was behind. Uh, I was slightly quicker than him. Obviously, I mean I was on pole position, um, but he did manage a 204, 209.5 compared to my 209.4. So I mean he wasn't miles off. Uh, perhaps I was just a little bit more consistent in that previous race. Breaking very late into that first corner, maybe a little bit too late. You see, I just lose a little bit on the exit. So he just pulls out maybe a couple of temps on me there um, it's not gonna, really going to last too long though obviously you just got to keep your, head, keep your head in the race don't panic too much if the other person gets a bit of a gap on you you just kind of got to uh, just regather your thoughts and focus as we do here because we're right on him once again coming up to the chicane we talked about this earlier it's going to be a talking point basically on the brakes I'm ahead okay going in and I'm going to try to take the second apex, but we make contact. Um, so I get a penalty because I didn't quite take the curb. I mean, it's frustrating because I was trying to take that second apex. He 
came in, we made contact. Okay, no worries, I've got a bit of a penalty, he's back in the lead. Uh, that 0.24 seconds will wind itself down. Uh, we don't really have to slow. It was quite a good tip in people. I mean, a lot of you guys commenting, telling me that there's no point in actually slowing down to serve the penalty. Just race normally, it'll deplete itself by itself. There it goes, it's gone. And I didn't even mean to, you know, get that, get rid of that penalty there. So, okay, no more penalty. Just once again, the race resumes. Uh, so, it's pretty much uh, deja vu of lap number two. We're pretty much the same um, gap. And then we are going to briefly skip ahead as we come through turn four. Two wheels over there, two, four wheels over there. Uh, the game allows that. So, coming through the, the, the kink just before the chicane, it looks very similar to the previous lap. So on the brakes, slightly later once again, I'm going to try to hold an outside line, and then again, <laughs> it's just exactly the same story. Um, trying to go for that second apex and not quite managing it. But I've got the inside line, so I'm not really going to... I'm not just going to give up the position this time, I'm just going to try and stay ahead. And then hopefully, I can wind down that 2.345 second penalty before the end of the race. Let's see if I can do that. As we go into the first corner then, he's right on my tail. Feisty Italians all over me. And, well, there we go. That's kind of sorted the race out. It just pushes me off. I braked later than I normally would. And, yeah, I get a reset. I was that far off. The penalty actually goes down. I mean, that was the only up point of getting rammed off. Uh, so, yeah, two seconds down on that penalty, at least. At the end of the race, um, yeah, no penalty. I mean, obviously, well, perhaps he did get a penalty, but why just drove and got it got rid of it i don't know but yeah he, he won that race after that yeah sometimes the penalty system isn't always perfect but you know it, it was still decent enough and actually i actually improved my sportsmanship rating somehow so the, uh, the irishman there going for a move into turn one i i was constantly getting dive bombed into turn one even though i was breaking pretty much where you meant to the other guys just thought oh, it's open i'll go for it uh, that time, luckily enough, just getting the cut back on him and uh, going back into first place. Um, so this this race here, the, the the third race of the video, is pretty much like the first one. Um, not quite a 10 second lead, but uh, but just under three seconds. Uh, so that was that was another victory, and again a good opportunity to improve our driver rating and sportsmanship rating. So th by by the time of this race, this is the final race. I was actually up into B for both, so B on sportsmanship and driver. So the calibre here should be a little bit higher, you would have thought, although we do have that feisty Italian with us once again. There he is. You can see that gap. Just look how big that is, right? And I'm going to break later than normal. And then going into the first corner, he's just gone for that lunge once again. It wasn't quite clean that time, but it's, he's, he's asking a lot of me basically, uh, having to just steer out of the way. I mean, if that was um, cockpit view or hood cam, I would not have seen that coming. It would have been a different story. But it looks like we're going to have our work cut out once again, trying to get past this guy. It was it was entertaining, to say the least. And it's always good to have a challenge. Um, I mean, the first and third races were, were very easy, just driving away and then kind of just ticking down the minutes until you win. Th these ones, um, although some moments were fairly frustrating it was still a good challenge it's always good to test yourself and it's always good to test yourself when you're frustrated and annoyed because that's where you really are put to the limit basically down into the hairpin going for that late apex he's gone in there way too hot and they're coming up into the Schumacher rest we're side by side it's not going to go my favour here because it's going to go to the left first I'm just going to back out let him go ahead uh, you don't really want to be on the outside of a feisty Italian. You never know what they might do. He's going to go fully defensive. Look at that. It's lap one, early doors. It's not even a corner that I would go for a pass on. He's gone fully defensive. And again, all the way to the right-hand side there. Fully, fully defensive mode. Park the bus. Mode enable. Now, look at this, right? The Italian, oh, he's just going to completely come across on his fellow countrymen. Brutal move. And then now Spaniard comes out of nowhere. It's a four-way dice for the for the lead here. It's only lap one. How many more laps is this going to stay for? 
as the, the Spaniard cuts across, and the Spaniard, just having none of it, just brutally pushing him off the track, to be fair though. Um, that was a, a very, very dirty move that that guy behind just pulled on his fellow Italian, but by swiping across when he was already alongside. Not good at all, not good at all. So we're going to have, again, even more work to do as we're now in third place. And the, the, the quality of driver here is um, is a bit higher because in, in C there was pretty much only ever one person to challenge me for the win. But in this one you can see there's a few more. So it's not going to be easy at all as you go up the driver ranking because that's good. That's absolutely what you want. I'd rather be finishing seventh in an amazing race, a clean, amazing race. Than winning easily against you know slower people. There's no point in that. There's no point at all. You might as well be racing against the better people. And I think the best thing to do for me now would just have a couple of races or a couple of sessions where you just drive around avoiding everyone basically. Uh, obviously trying to still lap quickly, but just avoid everyone. Make sure your ratings go up, and then you can then really push against the better people. The Spaniard there having a bad run. I'm just going to come across on the braking zone and just fend him off. So up into second, but that gap to the other Italian now, up over a second. So he's made the most of the, the chaos behind him by really just getting his head down and putting out that gap. So that could be crucial to the end because it's only a four lap race. It takes just under nine minutes if it goes to plan. So... Um, he's, he's only really got about six or seven more minutes here to hold me off and it is so frustrating it can or it's good when someone is really quick and it's, it's amazing how only a one second gap it's just one second and it can be so difficult just to pull in that amount of time when it just sounds like nothing I mean one second is hardly anything isn't it but in motorsport we all know that is that's an eternity so through the chicane I think I maximised that a little bit better than he did, but um, it's, it's still over a second that gap. And on the exit of the final corner, you see just a little bit of a shaky moment, getting on that throttle a little bit too early, the car not really want, wanting to respond as I would have liked. But coming up into this game then, for the final time of this race and for the video, I'm going to put it in very close. I mean, the gap did actually get above two and a half seconds at one point but you see here it's actually below one second now so very close to the uh, leading Italian maybe he had a penalty to wind down I'm not sure uh, is he going to back he, I mean he's backing off as much as possible here and I'm just going to finish in second place he didn't have a penalty at the end there so perhaps he was winding down a penalty um, but there we go second place um, building up my sportsmanship rating so hopefully the videos should on gt sport for me get better and better as my rating goes up and then um, i'm racing against slightly better people so well done to that guy for, for winning that one and uh, managing to get past the other feisty italian but there we go um thank you for watching as always guys obviously subscribe if you're new and uh, if you enjoyed the video then uh, please do smash that like button i shall see you next time thank you for watching as always goodbye